Welcome ladies and gentlemen, Gorhamian here with Misfit Studios as always, and today we're going to be taking a look at Inkscape and how you can uh, create a greeting card using just the program. Okay, so creating a greeting card, disclaimer here of course, we're not going to be doing anything crazy fancy with, you know, how your greeting card should look. This is going to be specifically setting everything up that way you can um, print it off and get it created through Inkscape without having to, you know, I guess cut up a bunch of paper and tape it back together. Um, so what we're going to do today is we're going to just do a, cr a simple 5x7 greeting card, which is a very typical standard size. Um, there are a tremendous amount of different sizes. Um, I think 5x7s are considered like an A6 card or envelope size depending on what envelope they go into um of course you guys have been to you know any of the big box stores or any of the smaller stores and you can see you know the big aisle where they've got all of the green cards and then the corresponding envelope behind them those are all sized to fit in those different envelopes if you've noticed a lot of those envelopes are relatively the same size um and they do that for a reason that way card manufacturers don't have to you know manufacture a ton of envelopes anyways Instead of talking about envelopes and cards, let's go ahead and jump into it. It's really very simple to do. Um, if you're using cardstock or, I mean, I would highly recommend cardstock because printer paper is a little thin. You're going to see, you know, graphics on either side. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead and set up our page. So let's go ahead and go to document properties. Um, I'm going to keep an eight and a half by 11 because that is the paper size that I actually currently have in the printer as we speak and it's just a regular printer paper um, and so it's nothing fancy but the nice thing about this is whenever you're printing from Inkscape to a printer anything within that page border is what is going to be printed and its location so um, by doing this you're actually giving yourself the ability to line things up so um, of course there is a huge list here if I'm gonna be using the eight and a half by 11, which is the standard US letter. You can scroll through here and see all of the different sizes, different dimensions, um, the different um, different names for these dimensions. Um, and you can you know pick the size that you're gonna have loaded into your printer. What I'm gonna be doing, let's go ahead and click the US letter. Um, we're gonna actually keep the show page border because we want that as a guide. I'm, I'm gonna keep it on portrait because I think it's a little bit easier to have things lined up. So let's go ahead and close out of this window. So we got a few graphics that I've pulled in, just the Misfit Studios logo, and of course the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that while you're watching. So what we're going to do is we wanna create a box. Let's go ahead and create a box. I have actually removed the inside, so it's actually, um, an alpha channel so it's going to be transparent so if you hold hold shift and click the black color it'll give you that black border and then if you just left click the none it will take away the fill color then what we want to do is come up this should actually be defaulted to millimeters unless you've got that changed in your document properties let's go ahead and change that to inches and we want the width to be five inches and the height to be seven what that's going to do is it's going to give us one half of the size of our card. Okay, so if we go ahead and double click this while holding control, we get our little rotation arrows. We can bring that and get that, you know, about center where we want it. Okay, you can see how that's going to line up. Um, when we're done filling in all of our graphics, we're going to really want this centered as much as possible on the page, and I'll show you why here in a little bit. So let's go ahead and get that back to that portrait size. And this is actually going to be one half of the card because of course that card is gonna be folded in half. So let's go ahead and duplicate that. While holding control, we're gonna drag that over and let it snap to this corner. As long as you've got your um, enable snapping on, it will snap to that corner for you. If not, you can of course go ahead and really zoom in all the way and you know move those corners around as you, as you see fit. So what we are going to do now is we're going to make the front of our card or birthday card, greeting card, you know, wedding invitation. This is going to be the exact same simple thing that you can see. It's folded in half once. It's got a graphic on the front. You open it up and then there's graphics on the inside. So we want to draw or create our logo or whatever we're going to be putting on the front of the card on this right side. OK, so let's go ahead and bring in our subscribe image control shift make that much smaller 
just like that. We're going to bring that about, about the middle there. If you want to get really technical with it, of course, you can go ahead and highlight that while holding shift. You can select this box over here, and then you can go into your align and distribute manners, menus rather, and get those perfectly centered. Um, for this one, we're not going to be terribly picky about it. We're going to go to our text tool, click where we're going to want our text. Okay, so now that we've got our words in, we're going to go ahead and open our text and font menus. We are going to apply the rage italic. And then we're going to run these up a little bit, just like that. And now we can go ahead and realign all of those. Like I said, we're just throwing them in. Just kind of sloppy. Just like that. Of course, you can, you know, line things up a lot of it a lot more meticulously and and um, get everything perfect and set where you want it and put some really nice flashy colors into things if you want. Okay, so now that we've got our front of our card done, what we're going to do is we're actually going to highlight, we're gonna go ahead and highlight everything here. Click a second time while holding control down, we're gonna go ahead and rotate that 90 degrees. And then um, deselect it and then reselect it again, that way you can move it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna center that as best you can in the center of that window. Because like I said, what's gonna happen is you are going to print this off and it's going to be in that position on your page. And so get this as close to center as you can get it. It looks like that's just about as good as it's going to get. So um, another little tip is if you've got something that you, can, um, you can't quite get centered, what I would recommend doing is highlighting both of these outer boxes and then moving up the um, the stroke on each of those boxes. Um, and what that's going to do for you is the wider that line is, the less accurate you need to be in centering this on the page, okay? Once you get that box centered and where you want it, you don't have to move it again. So it's not like you have to do this over and over again. It's really, really pretty fairly simple. We're gonna leave the thickness that um, the way it is because I think that's gonna be that's gonna be okay. So now what we can do is, since we finished the front part of this, we can go ahead and print that off. So let's go ahead and click File, and then we're gonna to go to Print. Make sure, of course, your printer that you're gonna be using is highlighted and you've got paper in the printer. That is, it is really hard to print when there's no paper. Go ahead and click Print and wait for it to do its magic. Okay, so now that you've got that printed out, what you're going to want to do is put that page that you just printed face up, so the ink side up, and then the front of this, so the basically the exact same orientation as you see on the screen. So your front of your card is gonna be facing yourself as you put it back in the feed tray on your printer. What that's going to do is it's going to peel it up from the back side, loads it into the printer, and it's gonna then print the other side on the other piece of, on the other side of the piece of paper, if that makes sense. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to move these out of the way. Then we go ahead and bring in the second part of our image. And actually the nice thing about this is if you just highlight this, click it a second time, hold the control, go 90 degrees. That way you can get everything lined up without having to move any of these boxes. So let's go ahead and um, we're gonna turn that just a little bit. Control Z and move that down. Of course, Inkscape doesn't really like to do that image because there is a lot going on there, but that's okay. And then if you wanted, you could actually put, you know, some saying or words or graphics over on this left side too, because that is going to be, um, as you open your card, think of it as this, um, don't forget to subscribe, is going to be on the back of this section here, okay? So let's go ahead and highlight, let's go ahead and highlight everything again. Once again, clicking on it a second time, hold control bring it back that 90 degrees. And as you can see, we're here back to the very exact same place we started with that square. Um, only the difference is we don't have to reline this up again, okay? So, of course, once you've got your piece of paper back in with the um, ink side up 
and the front of the card facing you. Go ahead and put it back in the printer. We're going to go ahead and click print once again. Okay, so now that we've got everything all printed off and cut out, and we are good to go, I just wanted to take a few moments and thank everybody for watching. Gorhamian here with the Misfit Studios, as always. And like, I, like the card says, don't forget to subscribe, and we will see you guys next time.